A powerful hurricane will be making landfall in Cuba later today as a category two or three hurricane, which is very rare for November. And then after that, it'll be moving into the Gulf of Mexico, where it will still maintain hurricane intensity up until near landfall, where it'll be a tropical storm somewhere along the Gulf Coast of the United States. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about Hurricane Raphael and why this is a concern for areas like Cuba and even parts of the United States. So let's begin with what's happening this morning with Hurricane Raphael and currently it is quickly approaching the western tier of Cuba. This is what it looks like right now. Again, a lot of convection near the eye. You'll see a closer view of that here in just a moment, but it has organized a lot. It has been rapidly intensifying over the last 6 to 12 hours and it could even become a category 3 hurricane sometime before landfall in Cuba, which again landfall is expected here in only a few hours. So it's definitely getting very close to western Cuba. Aside from that, the Gulf of Mexico for the time being obviously pretty quiet, but as this moves into the Gulf of Mexico, things are going to look a little bit different as we go into the weekend. Here's a closer view of Hurricane Raphael. Again, notice all that convection that's bubbling right around the eye. That is what's going to help to rapidly intensify this over the next few hours as it approaches the western side of Cuba. And again, we are expecting major impacts to areas like Cuba, where there will be significant storm surge, very heavy rainfall that could lead to flooding, and also the potential for hurricane force winds. You'll notice one thing here, that this isn't a super Super large hurricane like what we had with Helene or even Milton, but it is definitely still a decent size. It's one of the smallest hurricanes I'd say that we've seen this year, but nonetheless, it will still bring the potential for some major impacts today. Here's some of the latest model guidance on where Hurricane Raphael will be going over the next few days, and you'll notice right off the bat again, really high confidence that this will be making landfall in Cuba today. As we go into tomorrow and as well as Friday, that is when things obviously become a bit more concerning because you'll notice that a lot of the computer models right now are bringing this towards the United States. I do want to point out one thing, by the way. This is very rare. We've never had a tropical storm or hurricane on record make landfall in Texas, Louisiana, or Mississippi. Right now, almost every single model is indicating that we are going to see some sort of landfall in a state that we've never seen a landfall in in the month of November. Again, big hint here, this is only for November. We've seen tropical storms and hurricanes in other months, but not November. We've never seen it, at least on record. Now, again, the really high confidence here is that this will be making landfall fall sometime by the weekend in Louisiana. Here's the good news. There is going to be a lot more wind shear and there will also be colder water temperatures back over in the northern Gulf of Mexico, which does mean with the current trajectory that this will still be in a favorable environment west of Florida. But as it moves here into the central and northern part of the Gulf of Mexico, we will expect weakening. This should be a tropical storm, maybe even a tropical depression upon landfall by the time it gets to the United States. Now, here are some of the computer models over the next 24 hours and even and beyond that, again, a lot of models right now between a Category 2 or 3 hurricane upon landfall in Cuba. After that, it'll move into the Gulf of Mexico still as a Category 2 hurricane, even through about Thursday or Friday. By the time it gets closer to landfall in the United States, which would be right about here or so, most of the models indicate that this will be somewhere around a middle grade or even lower end tropical storm. So again, a hurricane is not expected right now for the United States. However, there will still at least be some impacts to the country. Now, before we go into the future radar, I do want to go over some some of the impacts, including the probabilities of seeing tropical storm force winds, you'll notice that there's very high confidence that we're going to see tropical storm force winds in Cuba. However, even areas like western Florida have a low chance of seeing some tropical storm force wind gusts later tonight into tomorrow morning. Now, does that mean that we are going to see major widespread power outages? No, not at all. But we will have the potential for some isolated power outages and also the potential even for a few tornadoes. Now, back over in the Florida Keys, we do have a higher probability of seeing tropical storm force wind gusts, so just keep that in mind. Areas like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and even the Florida Panhandle have a low chance right now over the next few days of seeing some tropical storm force winds, depending on where this hurricane ends up going, which again, by the time it gets to the United States, should be a tropical storm. There will be some storm surge here in the United States, at least for the Florida Keys. Now, I do want to point out that we don't know yet how much storm surge we'll see along the northern Gulf Coast for areas like Louisiana or Mississippi. If we do end up seeing landfall up there, but we do know that at least the Florida Keys will see anywhere from one to three feet of storm surge. And again, this is really just for the lower Florida Keys. If you're over in Tampa, Cape Coral, we're not really expecting any storm surge over there.
And there is going to be a tornado risk with this entire thing. For today, we do have a low tornado risk back over in southwest Florida near Fort Myers and even Naples, Florida. So even if you're not going to see tropical storm force winds or anything like that, you at least have a low chance for an isolated tornado or two later this evening. And there's also a more elevated chance for fish nados and tornadoes back over near Key West. Now let's talk more about where this will be going and when we're going to see impacts in certain areas. And it'll begin with the next 24 hours. And again, Cuba is expected to see a significant hurricane make landfall and again that's expected sometime around or just after lunchtime this afternoon eventually this will move into the gulf of mexico the pressure is still going to be relatively low and again notice that this particular hurricane model has this down near 960 millibars and if that holds true this is actually not far from even being a major hurricane in the gulf of mexico which again is very rare in november we do not see this very often that's kind of giving you an idea of how favorable the environment is right now as we go into thursday afternoon this will stay well to the west of florida but there will still be at least some minor to moderate impacts in southwest Florida when it comes to isolated tornadoes and also storm surge. By Friday into Saturday, this is going to be over the central Gulf of Mexico, so not really anywhere near the United States. It's also a very compact hurricane, so it's not going to be very large. So that means that we're not really going to see impacts anywhere near Louisiana or even Texas or Mississippi until this gets closer to landfall. However, this particular model doesn't have this even getting close to the United States by even, you know, Monday. So you'll notice that there's really just not much left here as we get closer to Monday. This is what the model shows in a more broad spectrum. You might be wondering where it is. Well, it's actually going to be south of Louisiana according to this hurricane model. Now, granted, this is just one model. I do still think that this will turn to the north in some fashion since we'll have a trough that's going to be off to the north that should be able to absorb this tropical system. And I think there will at least be a tropical depression or storm upon landfall in Louisiana or Mississippi. However, obviously, this particular model does not show that, at least for right now. This is what the GEFS ensemble member show so this is a collective group of different models and this one I think depicts it a lot better again notice as we go into Saturday and as well as into Sunday most of these ensemble members have this still at least as a tropical depression if not even a low end tropical storm and that eventually goes up into Louisiana or Mississippi as we go into late Saturday into Sunday again I think overall the main impacts along the Gulf Coast and in the parts of like the lower Mississippi Valley will be heavy rainfall maybe a couple of tornadoes around landfall and then also the potential for some minor minor storm surge uh, with this particular system. The GEFS ensemble members even long term also show something else developing in the Caribbean Sea. I don't really buy that as of right now, but it is definitely not impossible uh, as of now. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast. Obviously, a very large cone as of right now once this gets closer to the United States. Hurricane warnings in effect for Cuba. Eventually, this will continue as a hurricane even through Friday, by the way. So we will have a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico all the way up until Friday, just sitting out there in the central Gulf of Mexico. But eventually, by Saturday, this will weaken, I think, pretty quickly down to a low to medium grade tropical storm. There is still a low chance that this could still be a hurricane upon landfall in the United States, but it's a very low chance there would have to be basically no wind shear and the water temperatures would also have to be a bit warmer which that's very hard to do at this point so overall i don't really think this will be a hurricane in the united states but it is still something to watch for in case there are some changes here here's the latest national hurricane center outlook and you'll notice that this is not the only thing that we're going to be talking about we also have another low chance of another tropical system trying to develop here as we go cl get closer to the middle of november uh, obviously this is something that you know we're in the middle of november the water temperatures aren't as warm so so overall, I'm not too concerned about this, at least for the United States, but we could see some tropical showers, maybe a tropical storm of some sorts go towards areas like Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic as we go sometime in the next week. But at least the good news is, again, we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season and the water temperatures are cooling pretty quickly. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.